One thing that happened today, as expected, a guy who never should have been hired by the Cowboys has been fired by the Cowboys. Not Mike McCarthy, but Mike Nolan, the other Mike. But wouldn't it be funny if they accidentally put the wrong Mike on the paperwork? But Mike Nolan is out as the defensive coordinator of the Dallas Cowboys. They brought him in to run a defense that didn't fit the personnel that they had been systematically compiling for years. Shame on, well, I'll say shame on me. You may have seen it coming. Shame on me for not recognizing this was not going to be an easy fix because anytime you make a major change in your defensive philosophy, you have to get the right players to run it and it didn't work and we knew from the get-go it wasn't going to work so after one year Mike Nolan is out I'm sure Cowboys fans would be saying the other Mike should go too but Nolan is out another guy who's out Jim Tom Sula who once upon a time was the one-year head coach of the San Francisco 49ers he's gone as well so they're going to rebuild that defensive coaching staff Shireen now that Nolan is out yeah they gave up the most points in team history Mike it was not a good defense it was not a good fit I think a name to keep an eye on, depending how Mike McCarthy wants to go with that front, whether he wants to go back to the 4-3 or stick with the 3-4. But I think Dan Quinn is a name to keep an eye on, possibly Raheem Morris if he doesn't get a head coaching job. But I think those two Atlanta guys could be candidates for this job uh, for the Cowboys. Yeah, I think Quinn's going to have to go back to being a coordinator, pick the right spot, and do a good enough job with a team that does well to ever get a sniff at being a head coach again in the future. And I'll repeat what I've been saying all week in different contexts and settings. I would not hire a defensive coach. Give me an offensive coach because if I hire a defensive coach and he does well, I got to find a new offensive coordinator and then I got to do it again and then I got to do it again. You get an offensive coach, maybe you get lucky and you have Dennis Allen that for whatever reason, no one wants to interview, even though he should be getting greater consideration than he is. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.